Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps? Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. He said stand your way. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. <coughs> Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Never paid attention to the board before. Alright, let's go to the crime scene. You know this place? Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. That's funny. PE Free Depot, 1106 AM. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Danger. Oh, look at those people watching. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. A lot of blood. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit right. your stumps. Let's go question you know this guy. Just come talk to me, and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I think it gets I'm like, Officer harder Hart. when you Phelps. get closer Traffic. to something important. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north Adrian of Bunker Black. Hill. All right, we'll North take a look Bunker around. Hill. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. There's a wallet. Adrian Black. 32 years the... old. Married. Born October Sounds 20, like an average 1914. guy. What was he doing out here? 160. Brown hair. Blue eyes. It's his driver's license. Ooh. Happier times, I guess. His wife looks scary. I thought I had a sneeze. Stencils. 
Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Alright, so we got his wallet, we got his glasses. Listen. Pipe of blood. Instant. Brand name might give us something to go on. Alright. Excuse me. It's a lot of blood, bro. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. It's a shit ton of blood. And cigarettes. Fire iron. Optimistic cold. On that one. Piece of paper. Mr. F. Mr. F. Morgan, Mr. F. Morgan. Up a live pig yesterday. One live hog for three dollars and twenty cents. Buy a hog for three bucks. Talk to you, Doc. Yes, sir. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. I already checked the trunk. So much blood, bro. All right, let's go talk to this guy. What's up, Sir, boy? I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. There's so I called the police. For a car. All right. We Mind if it. I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Telling the truth. Knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. I believe him. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the hmm. cars that park here regularly. So it kind of stood out. Contents of the wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Hey, yo, my boy. My boy. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside no that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Not even change. All right. Uh, blood pipe. We found a pipe. steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. I believe him. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. Interesting. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Dialogue. All right. Adrian Black. Let's go to the house. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. A nice house. Strange place to have Where are you players. going, Phelps? This is the place. 
I'm investigating. No use leaving the thing half finished. Pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Maybe the wife did it. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. All right. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. <coughs> we found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! The big pipe. My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. Where are you found? At the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Okay. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Uh, well, let's go this way. What's on the fridge? Nothing's on the fridge. Uh, Insta heat pamphlet. This was only Dream recently flat. installed, not two days ago. Four forty-seven. Insta heat model twelve, twenty-two dollars. Installation twelve. Pipe work and plumbing eleven, and delivery. M Ryan. The new. Automatic glass lined gas water heater. $82. Put less than $10 down and take it home. We have hot water 24 hours a day. 10 year guarantee. They cannot trust or corrode. They are a guarantee for 10 years. They can't rust or corrode. Damn. I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit knowing how they would use the parts. Yeah, there it is. It's a full setup. That's the part that's at the crime scene, the far right part. Suspicious. Uh, it just came from in there. Let's go in here. Can't go in that room. Another matchbook. Half an hour's bar. That's two of those we found, so somebody's going to that bar. There's Adrian. To my Adrian. Love to my Adrian. Without you, hurry back, my darling. This thing gets more and more interesting. Who's Nicole, bro? This must be Adrian's. His glasses. Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. They are a match. Alright. Okay. What is this? Train ticket? Los Angeles. ticket to Seattle. Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house.
Hmm. Oh, yeah, so he's missing the middle one right there. What bedroom is this? Separate bedrooms, it's a creepy separate photo pictures. Photo. What gives here? All those photos of that lady are pretty creepy so far. <laughs> the one in the wallet and then that one. Let's use this phone. Operator, number. message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Detective, what oh, moment? Kavanaugh's bar after this. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. Okay, I'm all right now, no, detectives. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, man? She don't like he's Frank. the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Uh, where were you at? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? I mean, it might what be. What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. I can't say she's lying. Move on. Ooh, maybe yes, I am accusing you. Your husband was going to leave you. That's motive. Now your only alibi is an empty house. Get it off your chest. Tell me the truth. Whatever your theories are, you're going to have to prove that I was there and that I wanted to hurt him. Do you think you can do that, detective? Let's see. Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. I don't think it's you understand that. Personally. So maybe she is lying. Is there oh, anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. Lying I, bitch. I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's mm. dinner and waited, but he never came home. All right. Location. Did your husband you tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Um, you know where he's going, But bro. you knew where he was really going, because you told him to meet you at the rail yards. That's where you jumped him. How did you hide the body? You have an overly active imagination, young man. Do you have any proof of that allegation? No. But, I gotta check. Looks like I was mistaken. So you didn't arrange to meet him out at the rail yards? I've never been near a rail yard in my life. Okay, so we got one wrong. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently. Now. About something. He's been Can't away in it. Seattle a lot on business. Seattle. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. With Nicole? There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. 
You're a liar. He's cheating on you. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Nicole. Was your husband going to leave you for her? Yes, he was. I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. Well, you all got separate bedrooms, bro. That's what's weird. If he intended to leave me, or if it was just a fling. He knows it is. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Sure you do. You want the insurance money? Was your husband money? wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Why are you lying That's about glasses, bro? That's a lie, Margaret. Bro? You know exactly what pair he was wearing because you were there. You're being flat out ridiculous now. Why don't you show me some proof of where I was supposed to be? It's not no proof, but I mean. If I was there, at least I'd know what happened to him. But I don't, detective. And you might not care. I got but two that is the most terrible feeling. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. I feel like I can't pour oil into that, right? Or... Shoot. Kevin. Oh, hey, I know you. No, you don't. We were at school together. How, how <laughs> did you buy me a drink? For, for all time's sake. This guy. Would you recommend the special for someone? You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Something funny about the clam chowder. They're all smoking. Top of my class back east. Frank Morgan? Now I'm waiting tables. Who's asking? Look at that. Everybody's smoking. I'm Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? We didn't say anything about a rail yard, bro. So... <laughs> you were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Bro. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Temple and Figueroa. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. Me. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no Cuff way I'm writing this idiot up. My bad. So sorry. Rope beer. Those billboards are super cool. I love this game, man. Just everything. Let's about check the place game. out. Come on. All right. There he is. Apartment two. Apartment two. Help you, gentlemen. LAPD oh, detectives, Mr. On Black. Way. You're he under arrest. Left his broken ones at the scene. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. 
I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just Anna, why would you do all let that me just get my to get things? away from your wife, bro? Just divorce the lady. I knew it. Trying to fake Phelps, his go after own death. I'll try to head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Gun's the first resort. Shoot him. There's no point running, Adrian. Shoot him in the back. Why aren't you running? There you go. There we go. I forgot how to run first. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Where are you going? Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? Yeah, dead ass, I thought bro. it would be easier. No, it just got a whole <laughs> lot harder. Now you're going to prison. Adrian buddy. Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. Locking you're going to lose your wife, a couple years, lose your job, guy. and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Yeah, and Nicole's going to be with someone else within like a week. <laughs> probably already with someone else. That turned out to be quite Captain some Gordon case, Leary. huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Captain. Just doing my part. All right. I think you just, that's at the end, right? Yes, sir. So 14 out of 14 clues found. I got 10 out of 12 questions right. I only got them wrong with the the wife. $13 in vehicle damage because I crashed into a wall on accident. <laughs> uh, Adrian Black can look forward to his day in court and the beating from the L.A. press. No injuries and no city damage. Well, that's good.